Hello guys! So today we have a very important video. It's been highly 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 requested of me to do this and I am finally ready to sit down and do it because I have been testing these out for a little over a month and it is The Ordinary Thumbnail pick! <laughs> The Ordinary is a relatively new brand. They actually have a ton of reviews online and it's been blowing up. The products are marketed by their active ingredients and it's very clear cut, it's very straightforward. There are no parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, methyl chlorals. Okay, wait, let me. Methyl chlorol No coal tar dyes, formaldehyde, mercury, oxybenzone, alcohol, silicone, nuts. It's not tested on animals and it's vegan. So it's a really interesting brand that is very clean, it's very simple, it's straight to the point and it's very honest which is what I love about it and I know that everyone has been digging this concept because everyone loves to get their geek on with skincare now so I'm very excited to show you guys the products that I got. Now I got these on Shopee and I don't know where else you can get The Ordinary. I think there are some other sites that may ship worldwide depending on how much you spend but honestly these are so affordable that I don't think you'll be able to spend like 80 dollars unless you buy like most of the items. So Shopee is a really great alternative if you just want to buy one or two items. It is slightly more expensive but for the import fees and all that I think it's still really really worth it. These- ooh, oh, shit, I keep dropping stuff. They were all definitely less than $20 and I'm gonna leave links to them down below. I've got four products with me. I've got the Magnesium Ascorbyl Phosphate at 10%, I've got the Buffet, I've got the Advanced Retinol 2% and I've got Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc. These products are all backed by scientific research and only contain the active ingredients listed in the title almost except for the buffet. So everything else has its own like active component and it's very specific and because of that you have to be very careful of how you apply it and when you apply it. So I'm gonna go through all of that and also go through how I use them and the effects. Let's get into this first. This is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Also I'm gonna sidetrack a bit but I really love the packaging. It just looks very minimal very aesthetically pleasing, clean and I love the dropper packaging because it seals your products really really tight and you can dispense like a little bit at a time which is what I really enjoy and I don't know if you can tell but I've already used like quite a lot of this, quite a lot of the buffet as well so you guys know that I've been trying these out for a very long time. Now this is really great for congested skin so if you've got oily skin or if you've got a lot of pigmentation like sunspots or acne scars. Now I have to clarify that this as well as this, I'll get into that later, these are not acne treatments so if you have acne and you want to cure them I wouldn't suggest pinning all of your hopes on this but what it does is that it helps to improve your barrier functions, it evens out your skin tone because it lightens pigmentation, it hydrates your skin, it prevents acne and wrinkles and it's also a really good antioxidant. While I like to mix this with vitamin E I don't actually like to mix this with vitamin C because I just think it's like a little bit jarring. I don't know if I read it wrong somewhere but I think it's you're just not supposed to mix them together. So this would be my serum normally for at night. There are also zinc ions in this product in the form of pyrolidone carboxylic acid. It's supposed to complement the anti-inflammatory kind of properties of the niacinamide but it also is suggested, now I don't know how true this is, but it's suggested to kind of prevent excess sebum so it could help with oily skin. I'm honestly not so sure about like the oiliness aspect but for lightening and pigmentation wise, I think it really does help. I do see a difference. It's a very gradual difference and it's with consistent use but because I've used this for several weeks, I can actually see my red spots being slightly less red and less angry and I just feel like it has a very gentle and graceful fade. It's really pretty awesome. Like I have very stubborn acne scars. So even though I don't have acne now, like without makeup, you can still see pigmentation which is really irritating. Honestly, I don't like it. I mean, nobody does. I'm really glad that this is working out for me especially because it's so affordable. This has a pH of 5.5 to 6 which is slightly acidic, it's perfect for your skin and it doesn't have any fragrance at all. Its texture is very light, it's very watery, it's clear and it's almost a little bit tacky. It feels like a watery serum. To be very fair, I don't use this as much as I do the Buffet because when I'm applying my skincare products, I want to make sure that this niacinamide product doesn't clash with any of my other items but because I have tried this more and more, I don't feel a sting and 
I think I've built up a system that doesn't clash with niacinamide. So I'm definitely gonna use this more and I really highly recommend you try out niacinamide if you haven't already. This, if I'm not wrong, is one of their most popular products ever and for a good reason. It's affordable, it doesn't sensitize or irritate your skin and it's good. So yeah, I really like this. The next item we're gonna talk about is everyone's favorite as well. This is the Buffet and it's a really interesting name considering that everything else has exactly the active ingredients inside. Now the reason why this is called the Buffet is because of its five different peptide ingredients. There's also a probiotic complex that helps you renew skin and promote the healthy production of new skin cells. This also has 11 skin friendly amino acids as well as multiple hyaluronic acid complexes so this is really a buffet. It's supposed to help with anti-aging as well. The peptides help with wrinkles, with crow's feet. If you want to share this with your mom, I guess you can. I don't have a problem with anti-aging but I do like to try and prevent it if I can, especially with the sun and pollution and everything. Before I even knew about its anti-aging properties, I've already been using it and I really like it. Just imagine a green juice for your skin. It's just very nutritious. This is slightly fermented so you can kind of smell fermentation but it's not so intense that you feel really gross about it. This also has a pH level of 4.5 to 5.5 which is definitely more acidic than the niacinamide and a lot of other skincare products out there but I don't feel like it burns. It's still a very weak acid and it really increases the absorption rate of your skin so I really like that about this. I think it also has something to do with the fact that this is fermented but it's just so good for your skin. I love it. Like I'm, I'm here now and you guys know me I have a ton of skincare products that I use all the time. So for me to be reaching for this constantly, you know it's good and I really really like it. And this goes great with any moisturizer, any toner and underneath all of your makeup as well. It's just really 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 nice. I'd highly recommend this to anyone that wants to get into anti-skincare aging. If you are like mid to late 20s, early 30s maybe, try this because this is super affordable and this has a lot of great ingredients for that. If you're young and you want to try it, like why the hell not? It really boosts like a lot of radiance and glow in my skin. This is definitely more more viscous than a niacinamide. I don't know if you can tell but this is more like jelly-ish and it's a bit more tacky, a bit more like fermented almost. But yeah, I still really really like it. I have no problems with it at all and it's so affordable so I just I love it. Now moving on to this and this is something that I didn't get much use out of. This is the Ordinary's Advanced Retinoid in 2%. This is slightly more expensive and if you guys don't know, retinoid is actually a form of vitamin A and it's supposed to really help our acne prone skin because it kind of dries out your skin and it clears away. And I have to give a disclaimer right now, vitamin A is not for everybody. If you've got really really sensitive skin, I don't recommend you pick this up but if you've had stubborn acne for a while, I think you can just maybe try out a little bit of this. I chose the 2% instead of the 1% because I've heard from reviews that the 1% is actually a little bit more unstable than the 2%. The 2% is a little bit more gentle and mild especially because it comes in like a serum type of way. I haven't used this much because I am so scared of my skin building sensitivity and like freaking out. So I've only used this once or twice and honestly I did like it. My skin didn't break out but I didn't see a noticeable difference because I've used it so little. The encapsulated retinol in here is slow releasing so it doesn't irritate your skin as much. Because of that, the bottle is actually slightly darker to prevent light degradation. The other retinoid is solubilized, it's hydro something something something, I just I can't remember. And it's a relatively new retinoid so it's supposed to be less irritating than tretinoid and supposed to be several times more effective in anti-aging. Not sure about that because then again I don't have aging skin, not right now anyway, and I can't tell and because I've used it so little I'm really not that sure. This is a yellowish liquid that kind of dries tacky. It's still very very watery as well. It has a very mild scent. It's not particularly pleasant but not particularly gross. I think it's just the scent of the retinoids. Only use this at night because this gives you a lot of sensitivity to the sun and it will burn your skin like literally burn your skin if you go out in this so please don't please just use this at night and use this kind of maybe twice a week or thrice a week if you've just started maybe once a week if you just started if you're on Oratane, Accutane or any other kind of acne medication that has retinoids in it I don't recommend you get this because I don't think it's a good idea to crash retinoids just in case it's like a bit too much or if your doctor has like a different kind of retinoid you know what I mean it's just dangerous so only try this if you don't have any medication if you're gonna take it at night and if you just maybe want to see if it helps with your acne I guess 
<laughs> Retinoids are almost always infamous for causing a lot of irritation and sensitivity to your skin just because it's so strong. But for me, when I use this, I really didn't feel it. And I feel like my skin is still really sensitive to the point that if something were to be really harsh, my skin would definitely feel it. I've used this kind of sparingly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't use this every day. But it's been working out pretty well for me so far. I don't see a noticeable difference, but also because I use a lot of the other products more than I do this. So this is kind of up to you. I'm just showing this because I have it. It's at your discretion. If you want to try it out, go for it. But if you don't, like, eh, you know what I mean. Last but not least, I have the Magnesium Ascorbyl Phosphate in 10%. This is a brightening hydrator with a stabilized vitamin C derivative. I use this like a cream in my serum step. I don't know if that makes sense, but I use this kind of only at night or sometimes in the day, like just sometimes, like very, very few. Vitamin C is a really great antioxidant. It helps brighten your skin. It prevents aging. It's really good for like anti pollution and it's just a fantastic ingredient but in its pure form vitamin C is very unstable in water that's why you kind of see capsules that have like silicone in them like vitamin C like little you know body shop they had one of those like capsule things I love those I, I use those all the time but they're very expensive that however is L ascorbic acid which is the common derivative of vitamin C so most vitamin C products actually have L ascorbic acid instead of magnesium ascorbyl phosphate this is actually a derivative of vitamin C that is water soluble so that's why they made it into a cream it's very easy to apply it's definitely more stable and can last longer but not as potent or effective as l ascorbic acid so having this in pure 10% MAP is actually a really highly solubilized concentration aside from the general benefits that you get from applying vitamin C on your face it's also shown that MAP gives you specific brightening effects on your skin more so than other derivatives of vitamin C so that's really awesome all the times I've used this I've really enjoyed it it's very light it's not greasy it just feels very nice it doesn't sting it doesn't irritate my skin at all and I wouldn't even know that I was applying vitamin C if I didn't know that this was a derivative of vitamin C so I really really like this I think this is something that's really really nice and I think that people should definitely try it if you haven't gotten into the whole like vitamin C train yet so that brings me to the end of this review and I'm sorry I only have four products to show you guys if you want me to try more ordinary products they have some new stuff coming out like really soon so I've been checking their website out I've been like creeping so please let me know if you want me to do them and I would love to hear your comments so please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and make new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button to turn on your notifications. That's right. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go soon now. Now-ish now. Okay, bye!